So, we'll start the show now. Don't worry if you don't want to watch this whole video in the um in the uh description area. I will put like table of contents like channel changes 001 homebrew 514 so you don't have to watch the whole thing you can just watch what interests you what's up everybody happy homebrew wednesday uh it's wednesday april 11th uh a week and a half after i brewed the uh brown ale the badass leroy brown ale which i'll put a link to somewhere up above me um badass brew day fermentation even though I didn't do a starter, fermentation went along pretty good. Um, it went on for about a week or so. Uh, it was fermenting probably within 12 hours after pitching the yeast, something like that. That was the first time I checked on it. So, um, As you can tell by the title... I'm going to be talking about some channel changes, um, some brewery changes, and improvements and upgrades, and uh, just some other stuff. So sit back, relax. I might try to throw a picture in or two of fermentation. Uh, as far as channel changes go, you will not see any more malt liquor videos on this channel. Um, I, I'm trying to get a new audience in here with some new channel changes and improvements I'm going to be doing, um, but I'll probably do a malt liquor video and incorporate it into some other kind of video, but you will not see any strictly malt liquor videos in the next video I do, I'll, uh, I'll uh, show you a clip of a malt liquor video that I do, and you can uh, find the channel when I do that. Um, so that's that. There won't be any more malt liquor videos on this channel. Sorry to all you malt liquor people that are subscribed to me. Um, but I have a feeling you guys are going to like what's... Uh, what's in store um, in the future so stick with me till the next video and you'll see some uh, you'll see a link um, and you can find me there as far as other channel changes I've gotten into a couple other hobbies that I'm going to uh, be discussing and talking about Related to home brewing, some not, but some are. Um, so that'll be exciting for you guys. You'll get to see a little bit of something else that I bet you all will enjoy. Um, some comedy stuff uh, I've been working on, and I'm also going to link to a couple videos. Uh, to another channel I've got uh, that was is a little small film production company and I might even show you guys some of the stuff from work um, so that might be fun as far as home brewing goes told you about fermentation uh, hopefully this weekend I'm going to be brewing vanilla oatmeal stout version 2.0 um, I took it to a couple uh, home brew club meetings, passed it around to get some feedback, and I got really good feedback, uh, positive and negative. Uh, the mouth feel on it is not quite where I want it to be. Um, I mashed it at about 152 uh, when I probably really should have mashed it. At 154 155 to get a little bit of a fuller body but other than that um, they really enjoyed the flavor really enjoyed um, 
the color and the richness and the uh, head on it. The head on it's gorgeous. Um, so they really enjoyed that. The only comments I got on it uh, that were negative were about the mouthfeel. Um, but they also said it's a really good summertime stout. Like if you like drinking darker beers in the summer, you could drink this and not feel like you've been chewing on molasses all day. Um, so that's good. It could be a summer stout or a light stout. Um, but I'm going to make the improvement so this fall and winter I have a really beautiful vanilla oatmeal stout. This weekend I hope to try my first wit beer. I'm still working on a recipe. Um, might have something to do with blueberries. Not sure. I also really want to try a like a blueberry porter or a blueberry stout or something. I'm trying to work on a recipe for that. Uh, so I, got, I can get that going sometime early this summer. Got a couple friends coming over for one of the brew days. I might sneak two in on the same day because I hear it doesn't take up that much more time. And I've got two burners and two big pots. So theoretically, after the first one mashes for an hour or so, could dump those grains, rinse it out, heat up the strike water on the other burner while I'm getting the other one up to a boil. So really, I don't think that'd be that complicated. I hear the uh, Hokey Homebrew experiments got sent out and people are receiving them. Sorry, I couldn't partake in that. Uh, but I've got almost all my uh, hiking gear and other stuff accumulated and I've just now started brewing beer anyway I'll let you guys go um, next homebrew Wednesday I'll probably either be racking the uh, brown ale to secondary or leaving it alone uh, but I'll talk to you guys later